Hello guys, it's really amazing to have you here once again. Welcome to this video. If you are coming across the channel, kindly like, subscribe and share our videos. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how you can resolve the issue of truly white spaces. Oh man, Betty have dealt with you really bad. Like Betty have really messed up your work you try compiling or doing betty to check and the list is just like what truly white spaces truly white spaces truly white spaces so that is why i needed to do this video right to show you how you can fix that you don't need to be afraid of white spaces they don't need to be frustrating i'll show you step by step how you go about fixing those truly white spaces so let's go on and see what we have you see there's already one here raising it head so we're gonna see how we resolve that so this is a white space and the file is exact on dot uh, c and i have that file here exact dot c right so we are going to go ahead to fix that um truly white space so i do uh, vi exact is that dot c let's figure it out and again this information that is provided you can use it okay before then so that you will see that the white space is actually there so if i i would do betty let's betty that file is that dot c and if i hit enter yes warning truly white space <laughs> error so i'll do vi exact exact dot c and i hit enter so it's telling me that i have truly white space in this file and i should watch out for the line for that doesn't mean that there, sh there, there might not be a white space elsewhere but it's just giving you a guide on where you can find that so I look at my file. What you will need to do once you come here, you tap insert I insert. Then you move. You have to move your cursor to the end of that line. Let me try it. You see this first line. I go again. I move that. This my arrow. The right arrow key. I move it to the end of this line. You see there is no trailing white space here. I go down. I move the the. I try to move the arrow the left the right arrow key to the to the right right this file there is no white space i'm here now as you can see i move it to the right direction there is no white space i come here again do the same and you know that the uh, file was telling us that you see so th there is a white space detected here probably you are writing your code and you mistakenly rushed and then you did not cover up that extra space so that we amount to betty detecting a white white um, space a trailing white space so you see one is here already so what i'll just need to do i'll press my backspace right you see i cover that up so you might want to go the extra mile if it detect again all right if i come down and hit the right arrow there's no white uh, there's no white space there all right so all of these are intact but you can go down if there is any you go ahead and fix it so i'll just do escape colon wq and if i try to bet this file let's see if we did the right thing exact dot c that is running and it returned my function without any error of white space all right you may be saying oh you did for it was just one right you did for one how do i handle much white space that is the next thing i want to show you to illustrate that what i'll need to do i'll need to compile this whole thing so that you can see the the white space i need to compile this whole file 
so that you can see the white space. I'll run Betty for all of them, right? I'll run Betty for all of these. So how do I run Betty for all the .c files? I'll go ahead and do Betty. Please move closely so that you understand this. Let me increase this. Okay. You go ahead and do Betty. Since I want to run Betsy test for all the .c files, what do I need to do? I'll need to use my white card, the asterisk button. I press asterisk. I want to target all the .c files, .c. So I want to Betsy all the .c files. So if I hit enter, go ahead and hit enter. You see, it's going to start running Betsy for all the .c files. It's running gradually, okay? White space have been detected in one. It's running continuously. It's going down, running that Betsy for... It's going to do it for all the .c files, right? Not just one, but all the .c files. Gradually, it's going to run that. So let's hold on and see what we have. All right, so... See, the uh, size.c has been examined, that is free, size underscore p.c, all right. So you can see that I have, I've just shown you how you can do Betty for all of the files you have, all the .c files here. So I, white spaces was detected in this very file. Theory of it, right? Digit underscore u dot c. So what I'll need to do, I'll have to come here, and go to that is the only one all the .c files. So I'll go ahead and do vi digit underscore u dot c. Let me see where it is. And again, they provided some information that will guide you in resolving that. That in digit underscore u dot c in file in line seven, eight, and twelve. So that should guide you. But that doesn't mean they might not be in another line, but this is a good guide for you, right? In line 7, 8, and 12. So this information was provided. So I'll go ahead and do vi that file, digit underscore u dot c. And if I hit enter, yeah, I'm here now. So 7, 8, 12, that's the information they gave us. So I'll tap I to insert here and if I come here, the first one is free. All right, I could just I'm using my left arrow to move to the uh, I said left the right arrow key and all of these. I'm just checking backwards. So they detected in by seven. All right, so they detected it. You can see this moving there's a white, a truly white space here. You see. So what I need to do, I'll tap my backspace key, move it backward, I have removed that. So I move to the next one. It yes, there's a trailing white space here as Betty detected. So you see there's an extra space here in this line. Alright, so I'll go ahead and use my backspace. I cover it up. So here, okay, I use my uh, right arrow, there is none here. Again, Betty said it's in 12th line. So, all right, this is it, guys. You see, this is a trailing white space. So, what I'll need to do, I'll use my backspace and cover that up. So, if I try to move down, I don't think there is any. all of these are free so even if I go here right go to the end of the line all of this if it was there Betty is going to dictate it and is going to let you know it's going to let you know that there is a white space be careful that you only need to remove a white space but for all of this so what uh, I will check all of this leave all of this uh, free so what I'll need to do, escape, see, column, WQ. So, guys, if I come back here, let me clear here. 
you see that file that was the third digit so if i come and run betty for that file digit underscore u dot c okay i'll have to put betty betty digit underscore u dot c if i run betty i hit enter you see my friend the function names have been returned without any help so we have succeeded in fixing uh that really white space that was supposed to be in that file so if i go ahead now and do betty for all the target uh, white card dots all the dot c file and hit enter this one thing you have to know that's what i'm showing you you can run for all of them and hit enter let's see okay it's running digit underscore u dot c is free now exact dot c function return no error detected flags underscore p is free funk underscore p dot c is free get underscore width dot c has been returned successfully handle underscore print dot c is free and had last dot c and exa dot c main dot c is running all right that is free underscore printf dot c is running size dot c as well size underscore so it's going to run that one after the other again all right so guys you see that all of it has been checked and they are free of betty this is what you should learn how to do um i believe this guy will suffice is going to guide you on how to remove your truly white space in your code that we uh, dictate error when you try to do betty all right i believe that this guy will suffice and uh, thank you i'm going to see you in the next video keep coding guys keep coding